Hi everyone, I'm entering the exhibit for Kava, Chicago Alliance of Visual Artists. This is 13 people, uh, board members, showing their pieces for uh, two or three months. It's going to run up to December 4, and I'm just going to do a quick run through before it gets crowded. So, thanks for watching! Board members are Kathy Besti, Dorothy Mason, Rob Sills, Greg Mayer, Larry Sheet, Susan Bennett, Joanne Minsky, Vicky Tesmer, Beverly Nash, Sheldon Bugen, Bugen, Colette Wright Adams, Seth Gozo, yours, yours truly, Chris Cantell, Norman Bower, Pat O'Malley, and Sharon, Sharon Wong. Thank you everyone for all the people that came and supported us for this um, board members exhibit. Uh, title is Inspired Expl Explorations and located at the Beverly Arts Center, Chicago. Again, thanks for watching. The uh, pieces are um, part of my doll series. Um, it's just been an accumulation of, uh, uh, of toys and dolls and bric-a-bac that uh, I accumulated over the years. They, uh, I would set them up into still lifes that form narratives and the, uh, they, they're always intriguing. My art is inspired by nature. I, I like to celebrate nature. So this is fall. This is about a block from my house. This is um, summer because the blue, um, the blue spruce comes out as really bright blue in the summer, the new growth. And then I did a lot of florals. 
and I also am extremely attracted to water. And this, these are my like nature fighting back. These are breakwaters that were put in in the 50s to control the water. And then when they, because the water levels were so high in Lake Michigan, and then when they didn't need them anymore, they just, they just um, abandoned them. But the water is slowly breaking them down. And I think they look really exquisite with the water around them and the, and the reflections of them in the water. And these, are, these two are plain airs, and this is like not really a plain air, but these are, this is Osaka Gardens in the, uh, over by the Museum of Science and Industry, and this is Humble Park Lagoon. And that is um, like Givenchy, which is like uh, Monet's um, garden. garden. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joan. Uh, hmm, well, I majored in art in college. And, and then I had a career, <laughs> so I didn't have time. I got back to it about 20 years ago. I'm part of a woman's collective. And I, I got into oil pastels, um, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe 12, 14 years ago. Um, I was in a, a design class, and they used various mediums. And one of them uh, was oil pastel, and I just loved it. So I, I didn't follow um, a traditional, you know, oil painting uh, or acrylic sort of a path. I, I use oil pastels, um, and I use it with a medium that sort of makes it mushy. And maybe you can see there's many layers and a lot of texture because you can keep building up. Um, when you use a medium, it's kind of sticky, uh, so it creates some. Um, what medium are you texture. using? Oil pastel. Oil pastel. Oh, didn't I say? I'm yeah, sorry. you said that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you mixing it with a medium? What a medium. medium. Um, can't think of the. I always forget the name. Uh, liquid and pasta. Liquid. In liquid in pasta. It's in pasta. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's used, you know, by by painters as well. Uh, but I, I knew an oil pastelist that used it, and I tried it, and I just love it. Um, as far as subject matter, it doesn't matter. If, when I see a photograph that, or a land, an actual landscape that I think will um, help create beautiful forms, beautiful textures, beautiful colors, then I want to paint it.